Hey everyone, uh, today's video is about uh, InDesign versus Photoshop and making a PDF. We have lots of people out there that only know how to use Photoshop, which is great. Photoshop is an awesome tool. You can do awesome things in Photoshop. But don't forget InDesign is also a great tool. You can do awesome things in InDesign. And InDesign is the preferred tool for printers. Whenever you want to print something, uh, printers recommend using InDesign to send to create a PDF and create your files because it makes the best best file. It's the best tool to use when doing multiple page files and it creates a very good PDF. Now here we have a Photoshop file. I kind of duplicated a Photoshop file in InDesign compared the two. So what I did is something really basic is I put a background with a gradient. I put text and I put text with an effect, the drop shadow, and I put an image and I made a PDF out of that. And so I did the same thing in InDesign. All in InDesign I was able to do my gradient I was able to do text. I did text with an, with an effect because again in InDesign you can do lots of the same effects you can do in Photoshop. Drop shadows, inner shadows, things like that. And I placed a photo. And again in Photoshop there's things you, crazy things you can do with images and colors and, and different uh, photo retouching that you're not going to do in InDesign. That's not what it's used for. But Photoshop is also where you don't want to use placing text and placing images. Um, that's not where you want to do that. You want to do that in InDesign. So you can use Photoshop for your, your photos and changing your photos and, and doing your cool effects and on, maybe even on cool text and things like that. But then take that and place that in InDesign. Uh, you should use them together. But again, this is an example. Let's show you the PDFs of these. So I made a, a PDF using the Cedar Graphics standards that you can download off of our website, cedargraphicsync.com. And I made a PDF for, out of both of them out of the InDesign file and out of uh, off of uh, Photoshop. And here's what we have. This is the Photoshop PDF, 9.7 megabytes. This is the InDesign PDF, 182 kilobytes, not even a meg, not even a meg. And most of that's probably going to be in your photo. But all that text, the gradient, it's all saved as vector, like you're using Illustrator, for example. And it's creating a much smaller file size. It's much cleaner. Not only that, I, I use all the, the things I need to use in InDesign to make sure that I, I created a good print file. I made sure I had my bleeds here. I set my bleed box here. Um, I'm using swatches to make sure I can manage my colors. It's CMYK automatically. That Photoshop file, by the way, that PDF is probably RGB and it's not going to work well in the press. So just again, really quick video, quick tutorial on how to use InDesign, why to use InDesign versus Photoshop. Hope you guys learned something. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us. Thanks.